not leave without a new drink in his hand because he's taller than me. Put your hands together for Sam Cook. <laughs> Country. Come on, Sam. So we just told stories from when we still were. And the retellings had a rhythm like the rock of your old Mustang against the highway. And I realized, no matter how long you have been gone, home is wherever people know your stories. And one of my favorites, the bar door opened quiet, but the whole room turned anyway like we were letting their smoke out, letting too much sunshine in. We were a beer deep when a guitar man sat down in that furthest, most crooked corner of the dance floor. And I tell you, if he did not sing like an oak, he sang like a shipwreck. Woo! Bartender appeared behind me. She said, bourbon, it was not a question. Yeah. <laughs> and slowly, that ramshackle stage started to wail. Sounded like that guitar man had strung the whole bend of the Mississippi up the neck of that Gibson. We got two more and drank with that bartender. Her name was Mary Lee, but everybody called her Granny. I tell you, that woman was cast iron. I watched her slosh whiskey through her teeth like it was mouthwash. Heard her hollering like a coven of cowbells when her great-grandson got up, hugging a harmonica between his lips like it was a wooden rod and he was a seizure. Boy, blue harp like a rusted gear, like a wind chime built a junkyard cars. I tell you, that night I heard the sound of a sail being ripped from a chest of a ship. This was the music of stranded survivors, these were the first people I had ever seen break while they danced. <laughs> just like that, just like that, the gap between our bar stools vanished. We sat arm to arm and Mark Twain the sounds of shipwreck and seizure. We faulknered that chorus of old men who hung tune like whistling indoor country crickets. We two storytellers bent the ends of the interstate until all the distance between us looked like one long Mobius strip of highway, the last exit leading right back to that bar. And we were not adults who lived in different states. We were still just those kids about to push open that front door. And if home is wherever, wherever people know our stories, there might just be a little too much highway in mine. Yeah! 